Hey and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. You see what I have? That's the battery equalizer and now this system works as fully as it should. Um, what this equalizer does, it basically balances actively the voltage between all the uh, 20 volt, 12 volt banks uh, and yeah, so the flow, the current flows through these thin cables, let us check quickly what's going on there. Switch to DC. And just let me remind you, plus or minus means only the direction. For example, yeah, from 0 0.01 up to 10 amps, it's the current value it can balance. It, it, it can use to balance, actually. And you see it actually works quite nicely balancing the different banks, applying different current. It, it, what it should it do? It, it should take the current from the excess voltage and, and, to, and move it to those that have under voltage, for example. That's, that's what it should do. The only thing that is, it is missing is the digital voltmeter, but I don't care because I, like, I have this device and I can measure it manually any time that I need to measure the voltage. So the system is finally fully, fully, fully ready. Uh, also, I've added this kind of uh, DC switches and that helps a lot because currently like I, I may turn it off any of the like this is one controller This is another controller for the other pair of batteries because let me remind you one pair is charged by one controller and The other pair of batteries is charged by the other controller uh, but the uh, so to say, dragging out power source, which is this grid tie inverter that works, works not for wind, but as a battery inverter, it takes the power from the 48 volts. So I, I like only, uh, I like made this thing for you. So like this is the, uh, this cable actually. So you, you can clearly see now this one, the big one, it goes from all the way there and from all the way here uh to actually transfer the power fully to 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 my day inverter as a micrometer input so very very soon we will be mounting the wind turbines but we actually have been even trying to do this but there was a small trouble let me explain you which exact one so remember i initially told you that's probably like 12 14 days might be very good enough to for concrete to get some initial strength for, for um the chemical anchors to be mounted and for like that is going to hold the most the tower but actually this saturday it was like three days ago because today is tuesday we drilled only 20 centimeters of, of them 20 centimeters down and starting from 15 it was still wet like you feel you, you see the difference it was actually having different color and i mean we decided to a little bit uh, to wait a little bit more uh, up to I don't know, maybe tomorrow. So because like right right now temperatures are a little bit better, so every day gives it really nice nice boost to getting and getting dry. So probably tomorrow we'll try, and we'll um, actually finish this because I've been showing you this already, and you you know what the structure is, how it looks like, but yeah, this is the thing that we have to we have to eventually wait until it gets enough power to hold everything because we know the tower, the wind. And they have all different uh they, they they have a strong sometimes they, they have to withstand the strong winds so i've been showing you how much how much this one was uh, fluctuating from left to right once there were hurricanes so who knows and this tower is nine meters only those two additional ones like this one and and then that in that place those will be 10 meter ones but eventually the wind turbines will be less uh, in diameter, but still, the, the wind power is something that you cannot underestimate. By the way, this thing is regrowing. It is regrowing nicely. Remember the frost of May 14th, where I showed you that everything was dead, dead like this? Look what happens. The na you cannot beat the nature. However, the problem is that we are already very late. It has actually tiny berries, tiny, tiny grapes there as well. But I mean, I'm not sure if those will be actually able to, um, to get on, like to, to fully, to fully get to their uh, eating point because 
we have to <laughs> maybe it will be in september late september before any new frost will happen but still uh we just will have to wait so yeah that's the short video for today and once the towers towers are mounted i will let you know of course see you bye